<sighs> Hulk really didn't want to go pee in somebody else's toilet. He preferred to go pee outside in nature. But he had no choice. He was at Peppa Pig's house and he couldn't hold it any longer. He worried that his pee might be too strong for this small toilet. So he tried to control himself. But almost immediately the pee began to splash everywhere. And he couldn't stop. Because once you start going pee, you know, you just can't stop. Hulk almost immediately regretted his decision to go pee here. But it was too late. It was coming out full force now. And all he could do was hope for the best. But all of a sudden, the toilet fell over backwards and broke. And Hulk was still not done doing his big pee. Oh no, he thought. I'm gonna get in big, big trouble. And he kept peeing and peeing and peeing. And it started to push the toilet right across the room until it went flying out the door. Hulk thought, I should probably stop visiting people's houses. I just can't control my strength. <sighs> huh, he thought. It's hard being the Hulk and being so strong. Oh well, at least it wasn't a number two. <sighs> Today's the big day, thought little George. I'm gonna go pee all by myself with no help and I'm not gonna make any mess. So I have to get just the right distance away from the toilet. Not too close and not too far. Not too far, George. A little bit closer, I think. That's right. And George started peeing perfectly into the toilet bowl. He was so proud of himself and thought, hey, look, everybody, I'm peeing perfectly. But he didn't realize by not looking at the toilet, his pee started going everywhere, all over the floor. Oh no, thought George. Now I'm peeing all over the floor. Oh, I'm making a big mess. How am I going to get this right? And he turned back and started peeing again, but he was too close. And it was going all over the floor in the toilet seat again. Because George was panicking, he couldn't get his aim right. He stepped back a little bit again, but it was going all over the front of the toilet seat. And then all over the floor again. So he thought, I've got to get closer, but I can't stop peeing. So he tried to get closer, but then it started hitting the toilet lid and going all over the floor on the back of the toilet. George was so upset with himself. How can Mama Pig and Papa Pig and Pepper Pig all go pee so perfectly, he thought. And then suddenly, Papa Pig came into the toilet and said, Excuse me, George, I have to go pee. So George moved out of the way, but he didn't leave the room. He thought, I'm going to watch my Papa go pee. And Papa Pig said, Sure, George, go ahead and watch a real master do it. And he proceeded to go pee perfectly into the center of the toilet bowl. George was so impressed. Why couldn't he make his pee go perfectly into the toilet bowl? His Papa Pig made it look so easy. And George felt so frustrated and thought, I really want to try again. And Papa Pig said, Sure, let me help you. I can teach you how to aim perfectly. And George thought, great, let's get going right now. I'm ready to go pee again. Papa Pig started to go into great detail about the art of going pee perfectly. It was all about wind speed and direction and having the right angle. It was very technical, thought George, but he was willing to learn and give it a try. So Papa lined George up and said, the perfect pee starts from the moment you enter the bathroom. You've got to come directly at the toilet and know exactly when to stop and when to start peeing. So George carefully approached the toilet, making sure that he was directly in front of it. And his father was close behind, pointing him in the right direction. There you go, George. That should be just perfect. George looked at his father and smiled and said, I think I'm ready to start peeing, Papa. And his Papa said, Go ahead, George. Let it go. George was really excited, but also a little nervous because he didn't want to disappoint his Papa. But sure enough, his pee went directly into the center of the toilet. And his Papa said, There you go, George. Look, it's perfect. But don't ever lose your focus. Keep your eyes on the toilet bowl. So George focused exactly on what he was doing and didn't let anything distract him. George was almost done peeing, and every drop went into the bowl. It was the first time ever, he thought. Thanks, Papa. And Papa said, no problem. 
I'm a PP master. I've been doing it for many more years than you've been alive. Now, remember everything I told you, and you should never spill a drop again. Wow, gee thanks, Papa thought George. George went around to go flush the toilet, and was so proud of himself, and couldn't wait to go pee by himself next time. Well, there you go, said Papa Pig. Everything you need to know about going pee. Now, said Papa, come on over here and give me a big high five. And George was so happy, he'd finally learned to become a big boy and go pee by himself. Just then, they heard someone else come in the toilet. Who was it? Oh, it was Mama Pig. But she wasn't looking very happy. Why not, thought George and Papa. George had just learned to go pee by himself. Papa Pig suddenly realized why Mama Pig was so angry. He forgot to raise the toilet seat. So he tried to hide behind little George and blame it on him. But Mama Pig knew better. Papa Pig, you've got to make sure that you guys lift the toilet seat when you go pee. Papa Pig knew he was in big trouble. He always forgot to lift the toilet seat. And now he was passing his bad habits on to George. Oh boy, said Papa. Sorry, George. Please remember to lift the toilet seat and put it back down again after. Okay, said George. So I should put the toilet seat up again right now, right? And Papa said, yes, I, I think so. Put the toilet seat back up. So George did. But Papa was still not quite sure. He could never really remember. Should the toilet seat be up or down? It didn't seem to matter what he did. Mama Pig was always angry after Papa Pig used the toilet. <laughs> Thank you so much, said Catboy, for helping me to make this wonderful big donut. Peppa Pig's mother, Mama Pig, was so happy that finally she had a satisfied customer at her new home baking school. Suddenly the doorbell rang and Mama Pig said, Oh, it must be my next customer. Thank you so much, Catboy. And Spider-Man came in ready for his appointment to make a cake. Thank you so much, said Catboy, as he tried to leave, but Spider-Man blocked his way. And Spider-Man said, give me a bite of that donut. And Mama Pig said, Spider-Man, it doesn't work that way. Catboy made this donut himself. Now run along, Catboy. And Spider-Man looked a little puzzled. <coughs> but isn't this a baking school? Don't I get to eat baked goods? And Mama Pig said, Spider-Man, get over to the table. You have to make it yourself. Spider-Man still couldn't understand the concept of baking everything himself. And he tried to get past Mama Pig because he saw a lovely cake on the oven. But Mama Pig was able to keep Spider-Man at bay, no matter how fast Spider-Man moved. Wow, she sure is fast for a pig, thought Spider-Man. As he finally gave up and said, fine, I'll go ahead and bake myself a big cake. Now that's the right idea, Spider-Man. And we can't have you baking in your gloves, so go ahead and go get changed into some cooking gloves, okay? And Spider-Man decided he really wanted to eat, so he ran out of the room to get changed. <coughs> Spider-Man wasn't quite sure what to make of these blue cooking gloves. He was a little hesitant at first and didn't feel like himself. And he said, Mama Pig, why can't I cook in my Spider-Man gloves? And Mama Pig said, hey Spider-Man, we don't want to get your spidey gloves all dirty now, do we? And we want to have clean hands when we cook. So come on, stop being a baby, and let's start mixing the dough for your cookies and cake. Okay, said Spider-Man. It's hands-on from here on out. Okay, said Mama Pig. Make sure to knead the dough very thoroughly so that you have a nice, even mixture throughout. Spider-Man didn't quite understand what Mama Pig was talking about, but he did it anyways and had a beautiful, flat piece of pastry after. That's really good, said Mama Pig for a first-timer. Now just make sure to roll them all up into nice, even-sized balls, and that way they'll bake better. Great! Now let's load them up into the cookie tray, and I can put them in the oven. And Spider-Man said, but I have so much extra dough here, what are we going to do? And Mama Pig said, don't worry, we're going to make all kinds of cookies and cakes with it. Let's get this first batch started. I'm going to pop it in the oven. And Spider-Man thought, hmm, this dough really smells good. And there's a lot of sugar in it and butter. I wonder what it would taste like if I ate it raw. Hmm. 
and he opened his mouth, checked over his shoulder to see what Mama Pig was doing, but she was distracted by the oven. So he shoved it in his mouth and thought, mmm, this tastes really good. Wow. In fact, I think I like this better than cooked cookies. And he slurped it up and thought, that was amazing. I'm the best chef in the world. <laughs> and he looked back at Mama Pig, and she was still fiddling around with the oven. And he thought, maybe I can just have one more cookie dough ball. And so he reached over and picked it up. Mama Pig had just opened the oven at this point, And he thought, yeah, just one more. It was so good. Spider-Man thought he was being really sneaky and that Mama Pig would not even notice that a dough ball was missing. He opened up his mouth again, took one more peek over his shoulder at Mama Pig, and popped the cookie dough ball into his mouth. Wow, this truly is amazing, he thought. How come nobody had ever told him that cookies taste even better before they are cooked? Wow, he was a genius. Nobody had ever figured this out before. He was going to open up a new business. Lots of things were going through Spider-Man's mind at this point, but nothing more important than getting one more cookie dough ball in his mouth. And he went back to the table and smiled and thought, wow, Mama Pig is still busy with the oven. Look at this huge cookie dough ball I've got this time. This one's going to be even better than the last two small ones. He looked over at Mama once again, still busy with the oven, and he smiled and just couldn't wait to eat this giant cookie dough ball. He tried to shove it into his mouth, but it wouldn't fit. But Spider-Man was not going to give up on something this delicious. He opened his mouth even wider and sucked it right in. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Again. Now, at this point, Spider-Man was having such a sugar high, he couldn't think straight. All he wanted was more dough balls. But the table was empty, and he had no more. He had eaten them all. Spider-Man began to panic. Well, I, I need more dough balls. My cookie dough balls. I, I... And then he saw it. The master dough ball. A huge mound of uncooked cookie dough just sitting there waiting for him to eat. He smiled and approached the huge ball of dough quietly, hoping Mama Pig wouldn't notice. Ever so quietly, he slid the tray over, but his greedy, greedy eyes couldn't wait any longer, and he decided to dive headfirst into the big ball of cookie dough. Spider-Man had never been so happy in his entire life. Just then, Mama Pig had closed the oven door and looked over and noticed what was going on. Spider-Man, what are you doing? You can't eat all that raw cookie dough. It has eggs in it, raw eggs in it. You could be very sick. Get out of there this moment. But it was too late. Spider-Man had eaten the entire tray of raw uncooked cookie dough. Mama Pig was not impressed, but Spider-Man was still quite happy and pleased with himself, and he said he didn't mind that he wasn't going to be able to bake all those cookies, because he'd already enjoyed them all. Suddenly, Spider-Man's stomach started grumbling, and he didn't feel so well, and Mama Pig said, you're going to be sick. Go to the bathroom. You can't be sick in my kitchen. I've got a business to run here, and Spider-Man burped a few times and ran to the toilet. Unbelievable, thought Mama Pig. Spider-Man couldn't understand what was going on. A few minutes ago, he was in pure heaven with the cookie dough, and now everything was spinning. His stomach was gurgling and burgling, and he felt horrible. He located the toilet, and before he knew it, a stream of warm cookie dough was coming out of his mouth. Now, children, I shouldn't have to tell you at this point, eating raw cookie dough or cake dough probably isn't the best idea, even though it tastes really, really good. Maybe just a little bit. Finally, at long last, Spider-Man felt that most of the cookie dough, along with his blueberry breakfast, had come out of his stomach. So he stood up, turned around, and swore never, ever, ever again to eat raw uncooked cookie dough, even though it did taste so good. Uh-oh. There it was again. More cookie dough and blueberries were coming out and Spider-Man was back on the toilet once again. 
Wow, thought Spider-Man. That was truly unbelievably terrible. I'm never eating anything to do with cookies ever again. I'm gonna wash my hands and apologize to Mama Pig. And that's the last time Spider-Man will be doing any kind of baking classes. I better just stick to being a superhero. Mama Pig didn't know what to think. So far, her cooking class with Hulk, the cake exploded, and now Spider-Man ate all the cookie dough before it was even cooked. Maybe she wasn't such a great teacher. Or maybe these superheroes were more like her kids. <laughs>